Are you alright? Just some bruises. You'll need to find another way out. I don't know exactly. It seems like it was walled off a long time ago. The temple you fell down from was built on top of it. Can we find wild fruit was about a temple you're in? It seems that in ancient times ritual sacrifices were made to do something lurking in the tunnels. Corpses are still fresh. Stay safe. You're not alone down there. Run! You can't get back. <laughs> Hello Jack. Do I need to fresh up your memory? You are a six rest on there. Hey. Processing. Hello Jack. Do I need to fresh Good job out there. We got the X coordinates for the place we're searching for. They were marked on the bottom of the statue you got. Will you ever tell what place exactly we're looking for? It's too early for that. Anyways, we'll be going down into the red ruins. There are stories about a diamond with the Y coordinates engraved on it. Find it. Start your exhibition with the panel on your right. Good job out there. We got the X coordinates for the process. I was please the long It's too early for there. that. Anyway, anyway we'll be going down into the red room. Anyway, Sophia wants to see you. She's in the upper room. I don't know everything, but we're going way down. You'll be getting a silver cobra pistol. Same pistol that killed Miss Bini with. Hits like a mule. Processing. Hello, Jack. Do I need to fresh up your memory? You are currently an object called the subsurface. A place not under control of normal physics, still puzzling scientists to this day. It was discovered in 1953 under the Egyptian sands. The subsurface is a giant series of caverns, shaped like an inverted pyramid, with the upper caverns being wider and getting smaller the further down one does go. I hope I was of assistance to you. Processing. Hello Jack. Do I need to fresh up your memory? You are currently an object called the subsurface. A place not under control of normal physics. Still puzzling. Welcome to the Red Ruins. Not many people have made it out alive. Try to be one of them. That anymore. This is mummy. Reanimated by the saucer. All that should work is normal though.
just have it. You went off our radar. It seems to be a crack in reality. You were sent to some kind of pocket dimension. That was weird. Things like this happen in the lower level of the subsurface. Reality is thin here. A pyramid, the diamond should be on top of it. Processing. The Republic of Honor was established. Fine work with getting the crystal. We now got the X and the Y coordinates. You'll have to shoot out a general of the Democratic Front called Al Hyde in the upper ice. <laughs> He's a principled man. Keep your ideological differences for later. Jack, you need to break the siege on high sport track. Thanks for, save Thanks for saving our asses. Our guns may never fall tired, but our trigger fingers do. As I have all Thanks for saving our asses. Our guns may never fall tired, but our trigger fingers do. As I have already thanked the Republic of Hong torched our towns. One stick of dynamite should be with one of our spies in the city straight ahead. You also should be able to find one in the headquarters of the Republic of Hong, left of the burned city, just beyond the Surrey Lake. Some should also be with one of our stock soldiers I sent down below into the caves. I haven't heard from them in a while though. The entrance to the caves is just to the left of the frozen lake. That's the first stick of dynamite. Two to go. I laid one hundred feet from me. The walls are still whispering about it. I did my duty. Almost the whole city. In the modern world, no one is innocent. To paraphrase Habash, as long as you're still fighting for the defense of your dignity, all is well. So enough with this. Oh, 
enough dynamite to get us out of here. Come to our base. The leadership of the Republicans are the whole that we have three will be the enough. decision. I went underground to keep the ideals of Arab nationalism alive, my friend. Our fury will sweep tyrants like the general off his throne so that Arab unity may triumph.